In Cover Ridge, the Troop family was trying to find a safe spot while the storm roared through their house. We uh, moved around the house trying to seek shelter. Uh, part of the uh, bedrooms uh, got torn apart and we ended up in the hallway. We propped up some chairs, we threw a mattress in the hallway over our head and we crawled in there. And uh, I thought that that could be uh, like the last time that I would be on earth. I crawled out and I took some video of the house because I thought that uh, somebody would want to remember. But kept thinking that's the last gust of wind, that's the last gust of wind, but it never quit. Where to go, what to do. There was no way to know for sure. Before we get From Kendall to Florida City, everyone was just trying to hang on. The winds died down as fast as they'd come, and by 7.30 a.m., it was time to see what life was like out from under the mattress. Um. In Homestead, remember the Zinn house and Bill's boat? We put tie downs on the boat to hopefully keep it from moving around too much. Well, that was life on Sunday night, and this was life on Monday morning. This is the morning after. We're trying to recover what we can out of it. Sandy and Perzian. We rode out the storm. Under... Look, mattress. We spent about four hours underneath the, the rubble. And we finally got out. We haven't been anywhere yet. What used to be the boat. Parts of the concrete house structure of the house are clean on the other side of the boat. The road has been blocked with trees. All the houses have suffered heavy damage. However, only ours and our neighbors are totally gone. Luckily, the neighbor's house on the left side survived, enough that they could all cook and eat in the garage and sleep on the back porch. And of course, across South Dade, the story was the same. Every house, a home. Hundreds of thousands of people lived here, and they all now needed food and water and a place to stay. Stunned disbelief, but grateful to be alive. That was the collective sentiment in South Dade that Monday morning. Almost immediately, good folks from Broward headed south to help, and with supplies, knowing that it just as easily could have been them. We brought some canned goods, uh, some bleach, some well, a lot of stuff that hopefully we can use. We brought some food, we brought some Tylenol, anything we had that wasn't open. And that afternoon the president arrived for what turned out not to be much more than a social call. He promised that the National Guard would stop the looters and that the federal government would help. Do you know that's against the law you can go to jail? But quickly, things in South Dade were spiraling out of control. People looting in broad daylight, others buying what other people had stolen. You bought stolen stuff for your kids? It's cheap. It's cheap, but it's against the law. Did that ever cross your mind? You bought stolen goods. If you didn't steal it, you bought stolen goods and you've got your kids in the car? What kind of example is that for your little kids? But the worst of it was the people weren't eating. There wasn't enough food or water or help. 